Hey, how you doing today? I'm over here at the picnic table, and uh, I figured I'd uh, reach out and say hello. I'm recording on ye old cell phone today, so uh, so the quality uh, might be suffering. It's actually Friday afternoon, and I went over to the dump Tuesday and Thursday, and I picked up a few items, and I also did my weekly Salvation Army picking trip yesterday. I wanted to let you guys in on what I found. Spoiler alert, it wasn't all that fancy. This is something I found over at the More Than a Thrift yesterday. I paid $2 for it, and it's a Panasonic pencil sharpener, model KP-4A. Found one of these last year, garage sale and I sold it for pretty good money. I paid 2 bucks for this. I actually found this container at the free pile yesterday at the Salvation Army. And it's not really worth anything. But they come in handy when I want to, like, haul stuff back and forth outside. Or if I want to wash stuff, you know, you can put soap and water in there. Whatever. I also got this little Panasonic CD player over at the Salvation Army yesterday. This was 3 bucks, and they sell for around 30 I found this little Time Life camera over at the Salvation Army yesterday. I really don't even know if it works. It comes with a little bag, but I accidentally broke off the little thing on the zipper there when I was trying to pull the tag off but I didn't realize it had so many condition issues it's got some cracks right there uh, looks like these are selling for about $15 in parts only condition I paid three dollars and 40 cents for it so I'm hoping that uh, I can still sell it for a few dollars I also found this Xylus food chopper over the dump I think Tuesday it's a little bit dirty, and I'm going to specify that in the listing, and I'm not going to clean it. I think they sell for around $20 ship. All right, uh, I found these little containers yesterday. They're rival seal -a meal containers. I guess what you do is you put food in here, and then you can take the air out, and as long as the air is out of them, food will stay for years, I guess. I guess that's the general theory. I paid uh, $2 a piece for the three. This was included. So it was about a little over $5. And I think these should sell for over 30 bucks. Tuesday when I was at the local dump, I found this copy of Star Wars Attack of the Clones on VHS. It's still sealed in the original package. There were a couple other VHS tapes there. But this one was the only one that had uh, a little bit of value. So I just went ahead and took it, because that's what we do. This came from the Salvation Army yesterday. It's a pair of Boss leather gloves. They were $2.55, and I couldn't find any comps on these particular ones. I saw some pigskin gloves, but these, I'm not sure what these are. I'm not really sure how much they're going to sell for, but I figured $2.55 if I had to, I could probably use these anyway. They look like good gloves. This I found over at the Salvation Army yesterday. It was in the 50 cent container. It's a Pampered Chef egg slicer. Now it does have some little uh, grossness to it. I'm not going to clean this. I typically don't clean this stuff. What I do is I simply put it in a listing and I just it's not enough money for me to spend time cleaning all these things this is only like a ten dollar free shipping item so if somebody wants it and they want to clean it they can get it here we got another Salvation Army find this is an Olympus D380 digital camera it's only a two megapixel digital camera which surprisingly enough these do hold a little bit of value I don't know why but people are still buying them I need to test it out. I paid $3.40 after discount, and the comps are kind of all over the place. I just decided to take a chance on it. Here's a neat little Frisbee that I found. It's made by Nerf, and it does have some condition issues. Mostly, uh, there's some spots and debris. It was $2 at the more than a thrift store, and I think they sell for about $25 to $30. I may get a little bit less, but still not a bad little Frisbee. I found these two wall plates over at the Salvation Army yesterday. They were a dollar a piece, so after discount, 85 cents. I think I saw this one sell over here for like 8 to $10 plus shipping. This will probably sell for a little bit more. They're from 1998, and I think somebody will appreciate them. They do actually have a kind of a cool look to them. Tuesday when I was at the local dump, I stuck around for a little while, and I'm glad that I did 
because right before I left, the guy put this guy out. When I was first looking at it, I just thought it was a nice looking leather bag. It's a crossbody bag. It looks almost like a little messenger bag. And when I opened it up, I looked inside it. It's really clean. And that's actually RFID protection on the inside. And the bag is made by a company called Gun Totin' Mamas. So what this is, it's a concealed handgun bag for the ladies. And this thing, uh, I believe I could probably get about 60, 70 bucks for this. So this is definitely a great find. This came from me more than a thrift yesterday. This is a aero press i don't have a lot of experience with it it was two bucks and I, but i think it does have a little bit of value these i got tuesday at the local dump i'm thinking i probably should have left these i don't think these particular ones sell for a lot of money they're ascension climbing skins i think it's just some type of rock climbing equipment i don't think they're worth a lot of money they might be going back to the dump we'll just have to see and then this came from the dump yesterday. It's a New Wave 2. This is an induction cooktop. I have sold these a bunch of times in the past. I haven't found one in a long time, though. This one is kind of dirty. This I will actually clean because they sell for like 40, 50 bucks. So I'll probably take the time and clean that up real nice. I got it for like, a, like 30 cents or something. It was really cheap. And then yesterday when I was visiting my friend Geraldine at the dump, Jerry for short. She put this out and I've had really good luck selling Nespresso's. This is the, I'm going to give it a shot, Ascenza Mini. I guess they're in partnership with DeLonghi. And check this out. It says it works perfectly so there's no need for me to test it. I just went ahead and grabbed it and when I got home I looked it up and it looks like these are selling for a few bucks. So, you know, I paid like a quarter for it, so not a bad little score. And then the last thing that was at the dump yesterday was a Canon Sure Shot Telemax. I did just sell a 35 millimeter the other day for 65 bucks. I took a hit on that because I couldn't really test it. If I would have been able to test it, they sell for like 150. Uh, this particular one, I think, sells for like 50 bucks. And I'm just going to end up probably selling it as is. I do have the special batteries where you can kind of test the functions a little bit. And a lot of times I'll put that into a video and I'll just let people make their own decision. I did forget to mention that I picked up this little mini helmet. It's by Rydell. It's from the New England Patriots throwback series. And I think this is from 2011. And I guess you could call it brand new. It's still connected to the packaging. This is just something that sits on somebody's desk. It looks pretty cool. I paid $4.25 for it. And when I looked it up, I believe I saw them selling for around 25 bucks. So I'll make a little bit of money. Nothing crazy, but it's kind of cool. So anyway, folks, that's all that I found over at the dump and the local thrift stores over the last couple of days. I've already photographed most of it. I've got a little more testing and stuff to do, but tomorrow will be a light day. It's Saturday, and I'll probably just hit the dump. So anyway, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great night. Hey, guys, how's it going? It's your pal, Big Josh, and I'm over here at the entrance of the death pile. Yeah, as you guys can tell, I've got, uh, I've got some stuff going on here for sure. Yesterday, I think I mentioned that uh, there'll be no garage sales for me, uh, probably until next year. Where I live in New Hampshire, they just don't have a lot of garage sales like some places in the country. I watch Shed Flips from time to time. Him and Candace, they live in Louisiana, and like nine months out of the year, they're hitting uh, estate sales, garage sales. I mean, you name it, they're going to it. You know, we just don't have it like that here, but there's still stuff to get. So I shot over to the local dump. Our local dump is open Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I usually go out there a little bit later in the daytime. I know that I'm missing some good stuff, but I'm also finding some good stuff. And everything's pretty much random. People bring items to donate to the little share shed and as soon as they get it they put it out so a lot of times i'll just hang out there for about an hour and just when stuff comes out you know i go ahead and get it that was actually the case today so let me show you what i found 
I was looking in this little bag of American flags and there was these fireworks. I think these are just little sparklers, but these are actually the good sparklers. And there was also these little uh, M1000s. They're like little fake M80s. They're not really louder than a regular firecracker. They just put them in a, a bigger tube to make them look badass. I was like, hey, Chris, check out these fireworks. And she's like, you get those out of here. So I, I just threw them in the bag. I said, eh, maybe I'll play with them later. While I was there today, some electronics came out. And I was like, hey, Chris, check out this cool stuff. And she just kind of, she's like, just take it. And uh, one thing was this little uh, mighty loud ear. And this is like uh, something you use for hearing better. Older people might use it. There was this little uh, Belkin Trackmaster. These aren't as good as Logitech's. If this was a Logitech, you might be looking at 40, 50 bucks, maybe 100 bucks in some cases. I think this one only sells for like uh, 20, 25 new. I might be able to get like 15 bucks for this. Uh, but this is a nice little mouse, and mine is actually going to shit, so I might actually end up keeping this. I was looking at these earlier, and I guess I just wasn't interested. But Chris picked them up, and she came over and said, Hey, you want these things? And they're like little gaming headphones. It's model HSGENB. And I looked them up, and it looked like they were selling for like 20 bucks. So I'm glad she, uh, she brought them over. Years ago, I used to find these things pretty much all the time, especially at Savers. They would be in those little toy bags. So I haven't found one of these in a long time, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a Radica. But these can sell for, this one's probably not worth anything, but I've sold Radicas for over $100, and they sell for big money if they're new. But this isn't going to be that. Somebody donated this little compact wireless mouse. This has a nice feeling to it. I think it's vintage. I probably will end up selling this. I did look it up, and I think they're selling somewhere in the $20 area. Initially, I didn't pick it up, but I figured, well, what the hell? It probably won't take too long to test. So, you know, just throw it in the bag. This was also on the table with the other stuff that came out. This is an old vintage Radio Shack pocket sensory checkers. Now, I don't know if this works or not. It, the box is a little bit beat up and it's got tape and stuff on it. So I don't know how much it's going to sell for. I'm going to have to have a closer look at it. But stuff like this can sell for really good money. I've sold these types of things in the past and I've, I've done really well. I'm hoping this will do well. Even if it doesn't work, a lot of times, you know, people buy this stuff and they put it on their shelf or whatever for kind of like decor. But I don't know. I got it real cheap. And then there was this Nikon One Touch. This is the Zoom 90S. It's a 35 millimeter point and shoot camera. It's got the box. I don't know if it works. I'm going to have to have a closer look but I did look this up and I think it's selling for a few dollars so I'll go ahead and you know see what I can maybe I can power it up and make a little video of it working that's what I did with the last camera and uh, it sold within the day and I think the best find over there today was this vacuum cleaner when I walked in I saw this immediately it's made by a company called I don't know how to say this Miele Miel. I think it's uh, it's European, I believe, and uh, it came with you know the the little attachments and the hose and a little this this right here. I've got some of these bags listed right here, uh, but th this is more bags, so these will have value all by themselves. So you're looking at about five dollars per bag, and you know there's like a couple bags in there and then filters. You know probably ten dollars plus shipping. And I'll tell you a little story. When I first walked in and I saw this, I thought to myself, uh, I might be leaving with this thing today. Even though I've got way too many vacuum cleaners, it was one of those situations where I think this is, uh, it would be stupid not to pick this up. So I kind of lost focus of it. And I saw on the wood table, they had two cases of like old, what looked like old Coke bottles. And they were in the uh, plastic Coca-Cola crates. And I was thinking, these things are cool looking. So I started digging around a little bit. And, uh, you know, I looked them up. And they weren't selling for, like, a ton of money. You know, maybe 5 to $10 a piece, possibly. Uh, and I couldn't really tell if they were the, the ones that were selling for, you know, good money or not. I didn't really know. And she was going to ask, like, $10 
per crate, and uh, it, the money goes to the food bank, so it, it was a good cause nonetheless. But, you know, I thought about it, and I said, you know what, I'm going to let somebody else take a stab at these. And, you know, by the time I decided that, there was a lady that she was already on top of this vacuum cleaner, and uh, she ended up, uh, she was looking at it real hard, and she ended up taking it outside, and she was uh, pounding the tank, getting the junk out, and she she had it plugged in, and she, you know, and uh, <laughs> and I thought, uh, I'm probably going to end up losing this thing, and, you know, I should have, I told Chris, too, I, I was like, I, I, I should have jumped on that, you know. But, uh, you know, she she just walked away from it, and, and when she was at the donation jar, I said, hey, hey, what'd you think about that, uh, what'd you think about that vacuum cleaner? And she's like, oh, I, I like it, I, I've got a bigger one of it, and, uh, you know, the heads sell for like 75 bucks alone, and I'm thinking, oh, Jesus, he's gonna take this thing. So I said, uh, I said, you gonna take it? And she was like, no, there's probably somebody that can use it more than me. And I, and I was thinking, that's real nice of you. So she ended up leaving, and I told my friend Chris, I said, hey, Chris, I said, I think I know somebody that, that's going to be able to use that uh, vacuum cleaner more than her. And she said, who? I said, uh, me. I said, I'm the neediest guy in town. Just look at my tax return. But I did end up looking it up, and it looks like this model, this is the... Uh, uh, 300 to 1200 watt, I guess 300 to 1200, I don't know, but it looks like they're selling for decent money, and I bet even the parts sell for decent money, but I ended up paying $2 for all this stuff, so not a bad little haul. I forgot to mention that I also found this over there today, it's a Mac power adapter, and I don't know how much it's going to sell for. But I've had pretty good luck selling these in the past. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to start listing some stuff. I'm starting to have even bigger of a problem with uh, a space issue. I don't know how well you guys can see, but this stuff right here, I actually had to start putting stuff in the walkway. So this is not a good thing. I got to get this little, at least I got to get these things listed and put up on the shelf and out of my way. I ended up having a fantastic sale today. A couple of weeks ago when I was at the dump, I walked in like I usually do, I looked on the shelf, and there was a big container full of these little metal objects. And these little metal objects ended up being what are called gripples. And I guess they're used uh, somehow to, to put tension on fences. But when I was doing research, it looked like these things were selling for over a dollar a piece. I mean, people were getting like $250 plus shipping for a 200 pack. So I, you know, I ended up counting them and there was about 200. So I ended up listing them for $200 plus, you know, I was able to, even though there were 11 pounds, I was able to put them in a small box and, and fit that box in a flat rate envelope. So I was able to ship that for $750 anywhere in the U.S. So today I hear the phone, uh, eBay app go off and I look down and somebody had bought that lot for $200 plus shipping. So I was feeling pretty good about it. Lately, it's been really, really slow here. I think one day I looked at the seven day total and it was like in the $250 range, which is like unheard of for me. I mean, I sell stuff every day, but it's just been bad, bad, bad. So I was really excited to have that. You know, but the thing is though, I've got tons of stuff like that not as good, but like that, that I need to get listed because I really, really need the money and I need to be able to safely walk around in this, uh, you know, uh, this chaos here. But, you know, one thing at a time, a baby steps. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to get off this thing. Uh, we're going to have supper here soon. And I've got the new season of Curb Your Enthusiasm, which it's not the new season, it's last year's season. Mr. K and me uh, haven't haven't watched it yet, so he doesn't know it's a surprise. But we're we're both big fans of Larry David, so Adam, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll talk to you guys next time. You guys have a great night. I'm not gonna clean it because I'm a bad boy. <sighs> you guys.
<laughs> oh, what's in the package? Well, that's really none of your concern now, is it? Let me ask you a question. How many YouTubers do you know will actually set off fireworks for you? I'm guessing probably not too many. Woo! Happy late 4th of July!